Hi everyone, Anthony here from the Faculty of Apps. A common question I get asked on my website and this channel is how to remove or hide recent items from Finder without actually deleting the files. What we're referring to is this list of recent files that get displayed in the Finder window. If I were to select all of these files and hit delete, it would of course send them straight to the trash can. So whilst you can't remove them without deleting them, you can hide recent from the sidebar so that these files won't be displayed when you open a Finder window. The easiest way of doing that is to simply right click and choose remove from sidebar. Alternatively, if you go up to the menu, you can choose settings and you can untick the option here. I also recommend switching over to general and choosing which folder you want displayed by default when you open a new Finder window. I like mine set to home so I can quickly access all of my subfolders. Whilst this solution will prevent recent files from appearing in the Finder window, it doesn't prevent the menu option from showing up under Go. Unfortunately, I don't think there is a way of altering this menu, which also displays a list of the recent folders you've accessed too. Whilst you can't remove these menu items, you can clear the list by simply clicking on Clear Menu. Another place you'll also find a list of recent files you've accessed is in the file menu of each application. As with the list of recent folders, you can simply clear the menu. However, I recommend downloading a useful free app called Onyx. If you Google Onyx for Mac, you should see this link from Titanium Software. As the website states, Onyx is a free utility app that does useful things like verifying your operating system is running smoothly, removing old temporary files that take up unnecessary storage space, and it lets you change some menu options, which is exactly what we're going to use it for. It will prompt you for an admin password when you log in so that it can run all these different tasks. And then, as I say, you can use it to remove all your old temp and cached files. You can verify that your file system doesn't have any errors. And you can choose to hide individual files, folders, or even applications. But if we click on parameters, what we're interested in for this video are these options down here. If I disable this option, you'll see that it will change the number of recent items displayed in the file menu of applications from 10 down to zero. You'll need to click apply, and I had to restart my Mac for the changes to take effect, but having restarted and logged back in, if I check the recent files of any application, it will now forevermore be blank until you decide to reset the option in Onyx. So that is how to hide recently opened files from Finder and other application menus. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.